add in a circle, change the vertices to 128, and go ahead and deselect nine vertices. Delete the rest. With these nine vertices, E, Z, and extrude them up. Select the middle one, O to turn on proportional editing, G, Z, and scroll your mouse wheel and bring this down. Add in an empty. On your mesh, add an array modifier. Turn off relative offset, turn on object offset, and select the empty. With the empty, R, Z, and rotate it on the Z axis so that the second panel lines up with the first one. Increase your count to 16, and just close off the gap by rotating the empty on the Z axis. Enable merge and first and last. In edit mode with everything selected, E to extrude, right click, and Alt S and scale this in a little bit. Control R, add a loop cut, left click, right click, S, Z, zero to straighten it out. Control R, add another loop cut up here, add one just below this one, and add one to the bottom right here. Disable the array, and on the sides, go ahead and delete all of these faces on either side. Alt, Shift, left click these three face loops, E key to extrude, right click, Alt S and scale these up slightly. Once again, delete the faces on the sides. Control 2, add a subsurface level of 2. Right click, shade auto smooth. In edge select mode, Alt, Shift, left click the edge loops and hit Shift E and 1 to add a crease. Do this all around the crown. In edit mode, add a UV sphere. Change the segments and rings to 6. Scale it down and go ahead and position it on top of the crown. 